Basically what I was trying to do was uh, work with the interaction between the digital and physical world and do that through a, through a musical instrument. And so basically what came with that uh, was my project. And it's, it's MIDI controlled uh, MIDI controlled motors um, that play like a percussive. I mean, everything is also found objects. So, um, I mean, everything is, you know, made, custom built, custom modified. Um, so, but it's all, it's all found objects. Even the piano action setup is a, was a found object now and behind my apartment. Okay, this is a this is a car synthesizer of sorts. The title is Mitsubishi, and um, what we have here is uh, a different interface for controlling additive or at, and adding tracks of a particular song together and the audio manipulation of it. So, I'll give you a little demonstration. Where uh, I got three pedals right here: the gas, the brake, and the clutch. If you can see that, and I'll we take have, pictures of everything. All right. Okay. A uh, custom panel with some volume control and the amp and three other instrument uh, buttons. We got the joystick which gives panning control along with two other tracks and playback rate right here at the steering wheel. So uh, let's, let's give it some gas. And, uh, Right back front. Give it a little drum track. 
tracking. Boost the playback rate almost two times. Uh, I could stick in uh, some bass strings and a delay guitar. Some bells, maybe. Hi, my name is Jason Ting and my project is Pixis. It's a collaborative photo mosaic um, with traditional photo mosaics that uses computing power to detect um, color pixels and appropriate images um, to insert into mosaic. Um, this project was an experiment in collaborative media and um, art making in a sense. Um, it uses mobile phones for um, sending in the pixels actually. So, what you see right now is an incomplete, incomplete uh, mosaic because people haven't contributed much to it. Um, so the process is um, you send a text message to an email address and then it'll send you a color to find. Um, and it's kind of like a scavenger hunt in that way where you go and find out, um, take a picture close to that color. Um, and then once you send it back in, it'll check if the color's close enough. If it is, it'll insert it into the mosaic and it'll appear automatically. Um, if it isn't, it'll reply to you and say, sorry, try again, and then you can try again. Um, so that's basically it. It's just an experiment to see if um, alternative computing sources would work and be effective. Uh, I'm kind of investigating the different aesthetics of like, user-creative um, photos into a mosaic versus uh, just computers. I, um, instead of always having a statistic, a number, I wanted something visual. So this, what I did is actually make up this to kind of go with the old Etch-a-Sketch. And at the same time, I wanted to show how technology, even though it's really good, some simple things like turning knobs are not so simple. Um, you have to do all the programming. So basically, you just pick a topic, and then with the arrow keys, you can move the the knobs to different percentages. And also, kind of like the polarities, it's like when it comes to poles, it's either this or that. And I think that the gradations between it all are, are important. But there's, there shouldn't be, it's either this or that. There's, there's always that gradation that makes makes every issue. So basically it's just to play with this and to, to see um, basically the different percentages as a visual and instead of just a number. I suppose the basic idea is to experiment with collaborative um, interactivity and sort of the crux I guess is seeing how much you can change around presentational details and still have the core narrative to be the same. Thank you.